focuses on evaluating the step function. So the first half of this slide is just to review the step function. It's the greatest integer less than or equal to x. So thinking rounding down. When you see this function, you're going to round down. So here's our first example here. We want to evaluate the function given the g of x equals 3 times the quantity of the step function. So here's our function we want to evaluate. We're going to evaluate it three times. So let's start with uh, part A. Part A says we want to evaluate it for g of 2. So we're going to substitute 2 into here. So we say 3 and then sub in our 2. So we work inside out. So inside here, uh, the step function evaluation of 2, that already is an integer, so we have don't have any rounding to work on. So we just say that's 2. And now we multiply it. 3 times 2 is 6. So the value of g of 2 equals 6. Now let's evaluate it for 0.6. So we're going to sub it in right here. So we say 3 times the step function evaluation of 0.6. Well, 0.6 is not an integer, so we have to round down. So when you think about where 0.6 on the number line, here is 0, here is 1, 0.6 is right here, so we have to round backwards, round to 0. So 3 times 0 is 0. Last one, we're going to evaluate it for negative 4. So we say 3, negative 4. Now, Here's our number line, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3. And we're right now at negative 4. Uh, that's an integer. So this is our value, negative 4. So we say 3 times negative 4 equals negative 12. 